the marvel of the eye. The eye is one of the most remarkable organs in the human body. In fact, the way our eye works is nothing short of incredible. With over 40 components that must all work together in perfect harmony, the eye is an intricate yet versatile precision instrument that allows us to see just about anything from tiny grains of sand to distant landscapes. Many have compared our eyes to modern cameras. However, my friend, no camera invented by man can hold a candle to the eye, which is essentially a living video camera that records continuously to provide us with information from the world all around us. But to more fully appreciate this living camera, let's take a look at just some of the components of the eye. There's the eyelid. First, let's look at that eyelid. The eyelid is the eye's windshield wiper. About every six seconds, the eyelid automatically blinks to spread tears over the eye's surface to keep it moist and lubricated. These tears just happen to have the perfect pH balance, and they also contain a special enzyme and oils that help to prevent infection and reduce the rate of moisture evaporation. Try going even a few minutes without blinking. You'll soon learn to appreciate and to see your eyelids in an entirely different light. Consider also with me the cornea. The cornea is the eye's protective window, and it's actually a special type of skin that develops separately from the rest of the eye. However, this is not your ordinary run-of-the-mill skin. This skin is as clear as glass, and it lacks many of the features commonly found in skin, things like blood vessels and hair and glands, which obviously would impair our vision. Not only does the cornea shield our eyes from germs and other harmful things, but it actually functions as the foremost lens of the eye, and it does the majority of the eye's focusing work for us. Then there's the pupil and the iris. Besides adding an element of beauty to the eye, the iris controls the amount of light that enters into the pupil. Without you having to even think about it, the muscular iris automatically adjusts to let in precisely the right amount of light to form images on the retina. Too much light, and the eye's photoreceptive cells burn out like overexposed film. Too little light, and a proper image cannot form. Then consider also the lens. Just like a modern-day camera has a lens, the eye has a lens that is made of transparent skin and, like the cornea, develops separately from the rest of the eye. The eye's lens, however, is attached to tiny muscles that change its shape, that enable us to focus on objects close up as well as far away. While the lenses of a camera are not flexible, the human eye, my friend, on command, quickly conforms itself into a countless number of shapes to focus on objects at various distances. Next and last, we're going to consider the retina. We need to focus on this retina, if you will. The retina can be compared to the film of modern cameras. However, this film is made up of millions of living photoreceptive cells. Incoming light triggers a series of chemical and electrical events that send nerve impulses to the brain where an image is actually perceived. And by the way, the image formed on the back of the retina is actually upside down. But don't worry, the brain has been programmed to flip the image for us so that we see things right side up. Well, there you have it. As we've taken the last few moments to consider just these few thoughts about the eye, I hope you've gained a new appreciation for this piece of high-tech equipment that's housed in your forehead. I also hope that you consider the next logical question, which is, how did the eye form? Just as a camera's manufacturer imprints its name on its product, whose signature is imprinted, so to speak, on the eye, ask that question, whose signature? Could the so-called blind watchmaker of Darwinian evolution be responsible for the formation of the very organ that gives us sight? Or does this amazing design require an equally amazing and intelligent designer? Which way does the evidence steer us, my friend? You decide.